Hello, welcome to Country Sports TV. This is just a little video, just to get you some ideas. A lot of people have been saying that they can't see any tests on the penetration of steel versus lead shot. Right, you can do it yourself. And I'd like everybody to do it themselves, you know, if you're in a club or if you've got facilities of your own to do it. What we need to do is to test lead versus steel. Now, as there, the voluntary ban is only for game shooting, most of the cartridges that we will use will be standard proof cartridges for 2.5 inch and 70 mil cases. All right, so we're not talking about wild fouling. We we'll leave that aside. We're only talking game shooting cartridges. So standard ounce and a sixteenth sixes, which is a standard shot size for shooting pheasants, is where we're going to start at. So what we want to do is get a standard cartridge in lead as a test. Now I suggest that we use Ely Grand Prix number 6 ounce and a sixteenth just basic 30 gram cartridges and if everybody uses that as a basics then we can work from there that's our standard now we know that the Ely Grand Prix is doing about 1050 feet per second now, what we want to test is, now, the patterning of the cartridge is one thing. And if you pattern a shotgun, you want to do it at 40 yards. It really has to be 40 yards. And there's a chart that's in the Ely Diary, if you've got one, or in some of the gun books, that says that full choke will be 70% of your shot pattern. So, you're going to have to take all the shot out. I think if you've got ounce and a sixteen sixes, it should be 276, I think it is. For You know, I might be wrong, one or two out, but it's somewhere around there. And then you work out the percentage, number it, and it's a 30-inch circle. Number of pellets in a 30-inch circle, and you count them all. If you don't want to count it in the field, take a photograph of it, blow it up on your laptop, or your PC, and count them there. But what you want to do is put a little mark on your pattern plate, one, two, three, and write down what it was that you shot so you don't get confused. Now, what you want to do is use the number six. I suggest that you use to fix chokes. Now, as you're going to use steel, you can't use over half choke. So, quarter or just under half would be brilliant. I suggest you use fixed choke because the Ely Grand Prix is a felt wad and the steel shot will be in a plas wad, a plastic cut or a biochemical conversion that they got now. When that goes through a multi-choke, it doesn't allow the multi-choke to work because you've got a recess there. So, if you use fixed choke, then there's no arguments then. Use the same gun for all the tests. Yes, you can use quarter and a half, two chokes, but write down what they are and test both lead and steel in both barrels. Now, you want to patent test it 40 yards with the lead and with the steel that you're using. Now, the theory is, and I'm not going to say I believe the theory, but this is what we have to work on is, is the information that we've been given. We've got to start somewhere. Is that to get the same energy in the shot, you need to go up two shot sizes. So if you're using number 6 lead, you have to use number 4 steel. So you test number 6 lead and number 4 steel. 
Now, what we're doing is a comparison test. So you can do the pattern test, and that's the number of percentage of pellets in a 30-inch circle. Now, the important one that nobody's really doing is the penetration test. Now, my theory is that because the steel shot hasn't got the density as lead, that it acts differently when it hits fur and feather. One, it's bigger, therefore there's more resistance to it. And one, the density is different, so it handles and hit when it hits something, the energy is dispersed differently. But we want to know how good it is up against the lead. So what we do is we make a little frame up and put shooting magazines in, or yellow pages, or anything that you can repeat. So if you put 10 or 15 shooting pages in, do that at the 40 yards again. Because up close, it's going to be similar, up to, up to about 10, 20 yards. You know, steel and, and, and um, lead are going to be similar. I'm not disputing that. When we go out to 40 yards, which is where we pattern a gun, I think we'll see the difference between steel and lead. But it's up to you to prove this and prove to yourself how good this steel really is. Now, what I want you to do, shoot at the news, newspapers, or, yeah, newspapers do, or shoot in magazines, make a frame up, so you hold them, not tight, but close enough, so they're not loose. And the other thing you can do is ballistic gel. Now, you can make ballistic gel up yourself. You can buy a kilo of pork gelatine, which is all uh, it is. And the FBI um, ballistic gel is 10 to 1. One part ballistic gel, one part gel, the um, gelatine, and nine parts, um, ten to one, so it's ten parts water to one part gelatine. Make it up, you want a four inch square, and you want it about a foot long, I think. I think that will work. Oh, and my light's just broken, oh, bulb's gone in the light, never mind. I'll keep going. Test the lead and test the steel. See, count how far it goes in. It doesn't matter about the mathematics. What we want is a comparison. So we want to say, right, the lead goes through two inches and the steel goes through two inches or doesn't go or goes further. But it's up to you to find out. It's up to you to do the tests. If you do it in magazines, put down the magazine you're using, shooting time, sporting gun or whatever. Count the number of magazines up and then the pages that are, the, the paper has to be broken. You'll find it'll squash up and you'll get a, a bruise. What I did when I counted mine is I counted broken pages. The page has to actually be broken where the shot has hit it to count. So you'll have a number of magazines and then you'll have a number of pages. Write that all down and put it onto Save Our Lead Shot page on or Country Sports TV. I'll collect all the figures and what we need to do is find out the percentage difference between one and the other. And if we can get the penetration test done, that we... You know, nobody's seen any presentation. Uh, pres little, little, little. Nobody has seen any penetration tests. We can do that. We get in this fight together. And if you can give me the information, I'll collate it and put it together. And then we have a scientific test. As long as you use Ely Grand Prix number six ounce and a sixteenth as a test, and then your steel shot cartridge on top. There's different makes of steel shot. So, if there's ten of you do Ely steel, or ten of you use whole steel, I can then collate them and put them together. I'll put my email address down the bottom here. You can even email me the results after you've done them. Good luck. I need your help. 
I can't do this without you. We're in this fight together. And these are things we can do on our own. Leave the organisations out of it. They haven't got a clue anymore. They are not on our side. Anyway, Ian, Country Sports TV, signing off. Thank you very much.